everybody, my name is Rob Simmons, and as a request, I'll be reacting to another Madonna Light performance. This time she'll be performing La Ista Benita. And yes, I did react to her performance song a long time ago, but that was the Sticky and Sweet Tour. This is the girly show, so same artist, same song, just two different venues. And I did rewatch the other one before I started filming, just to refresh my memory. But anyway, I always did this in my requested reaction videos. I do take reaction requests, but as a rule, you have to be subscribed to my channel. So if there's any other videos from Madonna you want me to react to, other music videos, live performances, let me know in the comments below. And it's actually been quite a while since I've reacted to a Madonna performance, so I can't wait to, to get back into it. And I'd say if I might have to alter the picture of the I.O. to avoid copyright blocks. Yeah, I don't like doing it either, but it is what it is. Well, let's get to it. Let's see what it has in store. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, the Nana Madonna. What did I just say? I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you sure about that? I guess I'll already, this is gonna be a lot of fun to watch.
Nice. Gosh, I didn't realize the video was that large. I thought she was in a lot smaller theater. But turns out there's probably thousands of people over there. As you can tell by my reaction, I had a lot of fun watching it. I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. I mean, between the singing, the dancing, the instrumentals, everything was just top notch. And of course, it's Madonna. She never lip syncs, and I appreciate it when all artists do that. To compare it, I did say earlier that I did react to the Sweet and Sticky Tour version of the song, and if I had to compare the two, it'd be hard because they're so different. Well, Sticky and Sweet had a lot more going on because, well, the girly show tour. I mean, I don't know if it's a tour with a single show, but the girly show, as I was trying to say, had about four or five backup dancers. The Sticky and Sweet Tour had about maybe 20 or 30 backup dancers, so the Sick and Sweet had a lot more going on for it. And this one was a lot more simple in, in a good way because it was a lot more relaxing. And for this song, well, since it's so tropical, it's very appropriate for it. And if I had only time to watch one performance, I don't know, I'd have to flip a coin. But let me know in the comments what you think of this performance. Thank you for watching.